hello. So we had the antioxidant and antimicrobial um, potential of artichoke extract of beef patties. And I'm Katya Gonzalez. I'm Brianna Kincaid. And I'm Drew Baker. Okay, so just a little introduction about beet products. Um, meat contains um, macro and micronutrients, which makes the patty meat spoil more easily. Um, also in patty-like pro uh, meat products, the surface area, free water level, and pH are increased, which creates the proper environment for spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms. Um, and so because of this, an interest has kind of come about about natural antioxidants because of um, they help keep the meat from spoiling, but synthetic antioxidants can have toxicological effects. Okay, so just a little bit about the natural antioxidants. So plants have been found to be the natural sources of antioxidants, and so phenolic compounds in plants that have an OH group on them are responsible for antioxidant properties. Um, they do this by impairing the function of the bacterial cell wall and inhibiting the function of the bacterial enzymes. So um, artichokes, which this study was done on, artichokes have been found to be used as an additive to meat because their outer leaves um, are what are full of the phenolic content. And so that would that's where their antioxidant effects come from. So when they're added to the meat, then they're hoping that the spoilage rate will decrease because of that. So for the prep of the artichoke extract, Canned artichoke was used. Um, it was dried down until it reached a moisture content of about 12%, macerated with ethanol um, for four hours with a mechanical agitator. Um, it was filtered and extracted by evaporating the ethanol and stored in a dark, dark glass container such as this one in a freezer. And for the, prep uh, the preparation of the raw beef patties, they were just put in a patty form uh, assigned to one of the experimental groups, inoculated with the respective um, pathogen of the groups, and analyzed for the color, the total phenolics, the DPPH radical scavengering activity, and the T-bars over a range of seven days, checking in every zero, checking in at zero days, one day, three days, five days, and seven days. Because color is a big factor in determining meat quality and acceptance, um, it was measured through a colorimeter, which gave the L star value, or the darkness or lightness of the meat, the A star value, which is the redness of the meat, and the B star value, which is the yellowness of the meat. So the L star value of the AE 1000 samples were seen to have the higher numbers of um, L star values than in the AE 500 parts per million group or the control group, which means that the AE 1000 parts per million group showed slowed the lipid oxidation more than the other groups, and the meat didn't darken as much. Every group had a big decrease in A star value or the redness until it hit about day three, during which the rate of color loss slowed down. And then at day seven, the oxidation of the lipids was blocked successfully. Um, with the B star values or the yellowness, the values from the control group seemed to decrease until about day three as well. And then they began to increase where the other two groups with the artichoke extract, um, they just decreased continually. And so A star and B star had a negative correlation with the artichoke extract because of the green brown color of the artichoke extract may have affected the A and B star values by staining the raw burger, the raw burger patty and giving off a more spoiled appearance. And when, when doing the pH of all the groups, um, it's, it looked to have decreased until the fifth day where it started increasing due to spoilage. So for the total phenolic content and antioxidant scavenging activity, it was seen that out of the three groups, um, the control, the AE500, and the AE1000 groups, that the AE1000 had the highest phenolic compounds because of the dosage of artichoke extract that it had. Um, it preserved about 50% of its original phenolic compound, whereas the 
other two groups, the control and the AE500, um, preserved about 40%, meaning that the AE1000 had um, or could prevent a lipid oxidation better than the AE500. Um, the antioxidant scavenging activity, the t bars values gathered um, helped measure the lipid peroxidation of the raw burger patties, um, and the known safe limit is about one milligram MDA per kilogram of meat. Um, and at the end of the week, um, after analyzing all the groups, it was seen that um, the control group had higher than one milligram MDA per kilogram of meat, which is the safe limit, and the other two groups with the artichoke extract had lower than one milligram MDA per kilogram of meat. So it was seen that um, it had, the artichoke extract groups had a higher antioxidant activity because of its greater numbers of phenolic compounds. And adding artichoke extract helped increase the amount of anti-radical scavengering activity compared to the control group. Um, the radicals typically damage cells and spoil food, so the greater number of anti-radicals indicates that the product spoiled slower with the addition of artichoke extract. In conclusion, the study showed that the phenolic compounds extracted from the byproducts of the canned artichoke process were found to be a natural antioxidant and antimicrobial additives for the RBPs. Uh, the antioxidative and antimicrobial activities of AE and RBPs increased with the concentration where 1,000 ppm was sufficient. There was no other known study where the antioxidant and antimicrobial activity of AE in the food systems is shown. Okay, so some of the things that we wanted to critique about the study was um, one of the major things that caused the study not to be as successful as what it could have been is that there was a problem with the AE extract being green and turning the patties into like a greenish brown color, which made it look spoiled and no one would want to buy an RBP that looks spoiled or even eat it. So from this study, we cannot say that another vegetable or plant would cause a different effect, but something that the researchers or another researcher could try is using a different plant, spice, or vegetable that has phenolic compounds in it and see it with a different color of extract to see if that has any other different effect on the RBPs. And also, this study only used three different groups, so it had a control of 500 ppm and 1,000 ppm of the um, artichoke extract. So um, maybe like the results could have come out to a better, like they could have had a better understanding of how the AE works if they would have used different extract like amounts other than just 500 and 1,000.